Hello? Sherry. Is this Sherry? Yes. Gary in Bristol from Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. Good morning. Did we wake you? Yes. Oh, boy. We apologize for that, but I think you're going to forgive us in just a couple of minutes. You'll let us know, right? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know a Debbie Gilmore? I do. Well, she wrote us a letter about you and Kenneth. Yes. If you got a second, I want to read to you. Okay. My aunt and uncle, Sherry and Kenneth Harbor, have servants' hearts. They help their neighbors, whether it's helping to mow a yard when they're ill or driving a neighbor to the doctor or the grocery store. I've known them to be driving down the road and get a call from a neighbor that needs them, not knowing if it's an emergency or not. They've turned around and gone back to help. They go above and beyond for their friends and family. They take family members to appointments so other family members don't have to take time off from their jobs. They also take ones who have no one else to take them. They ask for nothing in return and shy away from their acts of kindness being known. I know that God will reward their selfless deeds, but I would like to not nominate them to be caught in the act. No, that girl, she's always doing something. <laughs> well, this time she did something that, you know, even though you shy away from your acts of kindness being known, she kind of made it public because we're going to be bragging on you here in Kiss Country for the next week. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. We're going to have you on the radio. In fact, you are right now. And uh, we're also going to bless you with a $100 gift card. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I, I sure hope that you don't mind going to have a nice little dinner with uh, David Alvis and the gang at Silver Star. <laughs> okay. You guys have been caught in the act of doing good. Well, I guess that pays off sometimes. Oh, yes, ma'am, it does. <laughs> Tell me, you know, when you when you get some of these phone calls, like the one you just got, you know, we woke woke you up. Were you thinking it's probably somebody that needs a little hand this morning? No, I figured it must be a telemarketer or something <laughs> when it rang twice, and I thought, oh, make it. Well, you know, those darn telemarketers, they start earlier and earlier, don't they? Yes. <laughs> Well, not this time. It was just uh, your favorite radio station, and we want to tell you just how much we appreciate you and that you and Kenneth have truly made this an incredible place to live, and we want you to know uh, how much that means to all of us. Well, thank you. When we grow up, we want to be just like you. (laughs) I don't know about that. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, listen, Sherry.